Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're starting a little roll cage for this thing. So I picked up a whole heap of one inch uh, black steel pipe and heap of these little pre-made vents. Let's jump into it. All right, so I think the first place to start is we'll cut this front beam, um, sort of have that in place there somewhere and then we'll shoot up our next runners up to the top and work out our heights. Alright, so I've got those brackets made up there. I will be strengthening underneath because this thing is not strong enough for a rock edge. So I'll do all the bracketry underneath once this is built. So I'll tack these on here. Um, I've set my angle, so it's actually at 5 degrees. Um, so that looks really good. And I've got the both straps measured up from the top, so that's good. So we'll be able to cut a little bit more off and then run our tubing back. Alright, so it's the next morning and as you guys can see it is super foggy out here and cold So this is why that diesel here just works so good Alright, so I picked up this little level box off eBay, it was about $20 um, This thing comes in really handy for trying to check to make sure things are running the same plane uh, So I'm going to use this to make sure that our top beams are nice and level up there So what I'm going to have to do is take this one here and cut that off on an angle And then put it up there and make sure it's level and then we'll build our back frame
Right, so just off camera, I tapped the seam around the hammer, made it all nice and square. Um, I've measured it all point to point, it all seems pretty good. So now what I want to do is put a beam across here, beam across the back, and then put one in the middle but actually bend it up because what we're going to do as a roof is use an old tonneau cover off the back of a U. So I'm going to put that on there and just tie it around nice and tight, and that should keep the water off the top. Alright, so as you can see, I've just chucked up a tornado cover on the back here. It's off of the Toyota Hilux. It was getting thrown out, so I grabbed it. And so what we're going to do is we'll trim it off at the front here and then cable tie it all the way along and pull it nice and tight down the back. We have this little bow bar here. We're going to put that up the top there, like that, and weld it up there. And that'll just keep the tornado cover up nice and high so no water can collect and it should run off uh, both sides.
so we've got the little utility bed uh, tack welded there. I've deleted these seat bars so that everything can mount up nice and flush and sit together just to give us as much room. I didn't want too much overhang at the back. We have got a little bit here, but I think that should be all right. So next thing I want to do is I've squared it all up. So 1.35 is the same as what the golf cart's sitting on at the moment. Um, so then I'm going to run in a piece of, um, I think it might be box tube or something, just to try and keep the weight down. I'll run that in the middle here. And then I'm going to pick that, put some slats going straight down and pick up the original bolt holes there. And that'll hold this piece in place. And then um, with the cage, we'll be able to weld a plate underneath. And then up underneath the chassis rail runs roughly about here. And we'll be able to bolt straight down into that. So it'll be a nice solid mount. looking so cool starting to look like an actual side-by-side -side UTV so the back here I've just cable tied these mounts um, here for now and I've got to get some more steel to make up some of those uh, plates underneath now pipe notches this one that's the one I sanded down by hand I reckon that turned out pretty good the other ones I did with the drill actually didn't turn out that well so on that box tube so I'm not too sure what happened there but anyway we'll be able to weld those up so the next thing, I did actually want to start making a rear bumper for this thing because I really don't like the way that looks. But uh, I've run out of steel, so that'll just have to be in the next week's video. But I do want to mount up a light bar that I pulled off the 60. So I'm going to mount that up the top there and just see how this thing looks. And then we'll push it outside and get a good look at it.
All right, guys, we're going to have to end this one here. We've got a lot done in today's video. This thing's just an absolute beast now. It's exactly how I pictured it. I'm super happy with how all this has worked out. I definitely would have liked to have bend all these by hand, but I don't think that bender that we've got would have, would have done the tight radiuses that we were looking for. So yeah, in the next video, guys, we'll be adding some mesh sides to that cargo area so nothing can fly out. Hopefully be building a new rear bumper for this thing. We'll be adding some braces in the corners here for if this thing was to ever roll over. And if we've got time, we may make some new A-arms for this thing, because as you can see, it's just rocking at the moment. There's not enough flex in that suspension. But yeah, make sure you guys subscribe because you definitely do not want to miss what we've got planned for this thing. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. It really helps it get put out to suggested videos. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out of thing. I'll see you guys in the next one.